We're in the process of moving from Hong Kong to Australia, and in this transition period, we are spending an extended time in Norway outside of Oslo for Polly to visit my family and relatives and to explore the country with me. But as I live in the south of Norway, I also wanted to bring her to experience the northern parts of the country and for us to tick off several bucket list goals, including dog sledding, chasing the northern light, staying at an Igloo Ice Hotel, and a lot more. And there is really no better place to bring her than Alta, which is dubbed the Northern Light City. The city has only 20,000 inhabitants, but it packs a punch when it comes to unique winter experiences and inducing wanderlust with all its amazing outdoor adventures. So, we flew from Oslo to Tromsø and then from Tromsø to Alta with high hopes for our trip. Starting a trip. Well, I would just I'm so sleepy. Barely slept. Like the darkest drink in our mind. But yeah, let's start our Alta trip. We're in Alta now. It's just minus two, but it's so windy. It makes it so cold on my ears, on my face. Already? Yeah. Once arriving Alta, we immediately headed to Holman Husky Lodge to ride dog sleds. You ready, Polly? Yep. Yeah. What are we doing? Because one of the most unique things you can witness in Alta is Finnmarksløpe, Europe's longest dog sledding race, which is over 1,200 kilometers long and which is dubbed the winter's most beautiful adventure by its participants. The race itself is not taking place during our visit, but we are dog sledding about 10 kilometers along the very trail that Finnmarksløpe follows each year. As our instructor Andre was telling us, Holman Husky is a family-run business with strong traditions dating back to 1986 of participating in the dog sled race. And they want to bring us into their world and show us the magic that exists in what is to them and to us an extraordinary life. Can we survive? No, we cannot. We cannot hear anything either. To let them go a bit further ahead. There is a guy! Ah. <laughs> oh. oh, someone had an issue, I think. Oh, someone fell off? Mm -hmm. I love how we're at the back. <laughs> is it, oh, 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 that's sticks. Oh, I gotta watch out for us. Oh! Ready? Set! Go! Oh. Go, go, go! Woohoo! <laughs> This is so much fun! Woohoo! Yeah. Johnny Boy is working Ooh. hard! I'm working hard, Polly's just chilling! Yeah! All Polly wants now is some doggy stuff. I want her to say that too. But. But. PG 13? What? What? Huh? Huh? What? Huh? Ooh, that's so cold. Turning around. Yeah, I <laughs> You dropped your glove! This one, you can't take it. Don't leave me. Please don't, don't take it. Don't take it, come on. <laughs> Got it? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna save some gloves. All right, we caught a glove. We're saving the day. All right. I almost died. <laughs> Let's go. 
Yeah? Go. Go. Imagine. Oh my god, they started pulling away. so hard. They could have went away from me. Yeah. If then you will I don't know. <laughs> but I was still holding on. But oh. what if we stay we ran so fast we can't hold on? Then I have a problem. Yeah, me too. Then you would have to turn around, do like a backflip, land on the brakes. Stop it for me. Andre, we got their glove. They lost the glove. No. We picked it up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, wanna, uh, no, I don't want to change. No, okay. <laughs> all good. Yeah, we're yeah. really good. Yeah, yeah, I love it. You have everything on tape. Yeah, yes, yeah, we yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank yeah, you, man. Thank you. Oh, they're waving to us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Yeah, to dress okay, him. Let's go, bitches. Oh shit, they call you bitches. That's what you call a dog, female dog. We stopped for too long. We could be, we could be lost in the middle of nowhere. They're gonna eat us. I think they will eat you first because they like more bitter. Oh, <laughs> sure, they're like sharks. <laughs> Keep pooping. <laughs> Polly, you need to learn. Oh. <laughs> you need to learn how to do that, Polly. Oh, yeah, we found them. Yeah, we won't get lost. I think it's better than skiing for me. <laughs> sure you don't want to sit on? I on the back? I, I think really don't if want they ask again later, you have to try. I don't want. Seriously, can you don't force me? No, I'm, I'm forcing you. Huh? I'm forcing you. If, okay, In all right. Imagine if you lost me. I will jump around and break. You will not be able to. Of course I will. Okay, so you may notice how dark it is outside and it's just around 2 p.m. in the day. In Alta, from the end of November to mid-January, it is the so-called polar night season where the sun doesn't rise above the horizon. But it is not complete darkness because the polar light is subtle with an eerie blue color that coats everything with an almost mystic vibe. And because of its often cloudless skies, the dancing light of the aurora, the northern light, can often be seen in Alta. However, unfortunately, the weather forecast had predicted fully cloudy weather during our stay, so we did not expect to see any northern light at all. But we were of course going to fully embrace and enjoy this trip regardless. But then... Oh, the northern light is over us! <laughs> That's the northern light, isn't it? Just white? <gasps> oh fuck, it is! Fuck, you see it, <laughs> Oh my fucking god! <laughs> oh my god, look out, guys! <laughs> look out! <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, almost fell, almost fell. Whoa. Almost fell off. Perfect. Great, great, great. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, nice. Tell some stories. <laughs> So for example in a 600 km race, the dogs, the lead dog is still standing after 600 km and barking and want to go further and pulling the sled. So they're not getting so tired. Even if they're tired, they want to continue. The oldest lady is 14 years old. Wow. Yeah, exactly. And she's still running. She's still happy to run. She's not running every day. She's obviously not part of the racing team. And uh, she's uh, just joining sometimes the, the puppy races show. Our idea is, as long as they're happy to run, mm. they yeah. will stay and, and run. Mm. Do you have any other questions? Uh, what about their diet? Is it, is it very little? Uh, first, they get high uh, energy dry food. And uh, this is yeah, really, really rich in proteins, vitamins and calories. 
So, uh, yeah, that's what they get those people every day. Because when they're racing, uh, they're burning around 10,000 kilos. And he managed out of this 30 times, managed to be uh, the three times in the first place. So, uh, yeah, but now he's uh, retired. But the sun, the sun has started exactly. here, right? Exactly, he took over uh, now two years ago and he also participated this year in, in March and managed to be in the fifth place. So it's a really, really, really good beginning and uh, mm. now obviously he's aiming for the first place. Yeah, and he became Rookie of the Year or something like that? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So uh, first place and now this is the fifth place. So <laughs> That's great. Yeah. When are we signing up? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> just just a small warning up front uh, it's a full-time job you go got out. it yeah. got it <laughs> but wasn't it the passion of the wife as well to exactly to you were informed yeah. um the wife started that that's how they get uh, to know each other and the wife uh, took over the whole organization of the finmax oh. and uh, she still is part of it so uh they both uh, and she was uh one of two first first ladies uh, that participated and finished the race. Wow, amazing. So uh, it's a big footsteps, the, the <laughs> son and the daughter are stepping in. Yeah. And uh, there's also um, a short movie on YouTube, it's called Masha. Um, it's also with uh, Brage, the manager. And there he tells a bit about the preparation for the races with some spectacular uh, pictures. And uh, mm. so really worth a watch. <laughs> Seem to like you, Polly. <laughs> I like my glasses. Very device. Because I talk so much stuff. Oh, lovely, John. <laughs> Thank you. I got it. I got it. Thank you. We enjoyed it so much. So it was really, really great. Yeah. Thank you for an amazing experience. Thank you for your arrangement. I don't know. Is Poison the one where we're the last? No, he arranged it so that we the know the light. He takes yeah, yeah. that. He calls. I just, yeah. Uh, yeah. I just press the bottom of invisible watch and, and then it <laughs> just appeared. And he gave us the, the most powerful dog. Yeah. But then we stop for a bit because then we can run faster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's see, perfect. I, 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 I thought about this. Yeah. I'm also doing this. Yeah, 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 just, yeah. just let them go. Then yeah. we can go a bit faster. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So scared one well, because they lost the glove. Yeah. But it was really far to the side. Yeah. So I'm gonna yeah. lean yeah. out, yeah. and she was like, "No, you're gonna fall off. You're gonna fall yeah. off." I don't know. And then you had to handle the sled. Yes. Yeah. You had to climb, jump around, climb around it. Yeah. 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 If anyone else wants to come and do this experience, like where should they go? How do they learn more about it or kind of book the experience? Oh, well, classic booking our website, homemanhosky.no. Yeah. Uh, just check it out. There are a lot of videos, there are a lot of good stuff. Uh, check out the, the video on uh, Masha on, on YouTube. It's a really good uh, short, uh, short video about the craftsmanship of, of uh, running, of racing. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you. Thank you. It was so much fun. Thank you. After the dog's lay, we checked in at Holman Husky Lodge and got introduced to a modern lab room. The traditional lab room is a temporary dwelling used by Sami people in Northern Europe and it has the design that is similar to the Native American teepee, but usually less vertical and more stable in high wind. As you see there, a level was more modern with a bed, heater, door entrance and even glass walls so we could enjoy the light sky and nature from within a level. Once fully settled, we headed for dinner and it was reindeer on menu. We have fin beef, which is salty reindeer slight thinly, fried in fat and spiked with black pepper and salt. It was really good. And then, Jacuzzi and sauna time.
Honey, 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 I love you. Overall, it was a magical first day in Alta and we loved it so much. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. In the next video, next week, we will be going to the Iglo Hotel at Soris Neva to sleep in a suite made of ice, ride with reindeer and ride snowmobiles, chase more of the Northern Light and a lot more. See you then!